Hey friends, it is Monday and we are doing our sinking fund randomizer today. <laughs> I'm actually really, really excited about this. I haven't been able to do it for a little bit and we have our tax appointment coming up this week. So I need to make sure I have enough money into my tax. So for us, that's to pay for a CPA to process our taxes. So we are going to jump in. We have our finished savings challenges. Let's move these aside for now. All right, so I've already pre-populated them on here. I have this mini savings challenge tracking sheet. It's a PDF um, that I got from Melissa over at Budget Stuff Save Repeat. I absolutely love her channel. This is not her um, tracker. She purchased it for me and gifted it to me. <laughs> but nonetheless, I love her. <laughs> And this uh, actual document is from Little Helpful Files, and I used it last year so that I could actually see how much we are saving by finishing savings challenges and putting them into sinking funds. It was mind-blowing to me because we finish these challenges, we stuff them in our sinking funds, we use our sinking funds, etc. And at the end of the year, I don't really know how much I've been able to save by doing that process. So for me, it's just a... A kind of a more black and white way to say, wow, you saved X amount of money in the year and through savings challenges and put those towards your different sinking funds. So we got this all filled in. <laughs> I have Avo Gordo, which was finished from Budget Paparazzi, Miss Rami, and that was $50. And Taco Tree, which is from Boy Mom Loves to Save, and that was $100. This money is going towards our birthdays, and so this will directly go into our birthday sinking fund. So let's do that now. All right, so there is our Mickey Mouse, and $150, right? 100 plus 50, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So $150 is going into a birthday. I'm just going to set that there now because we may be adding more money when we do a randomizer. And we will set this aside because we're not quite there yet. We need to get through the rest of the saving challenges that we finished. So we have uh, saved $20. This was from Maury Tenny, Temi Savings. It was super cute, super simple challenge. So we got $20 there. This one was a save $24 in 2024. This is from Mandy's Budgeting Journey. So we have $24 saved here. Uh, we finished our puppy tree, Christmas puppy tree. This is from Marlene over at Snow Gardener 307. So this one was $100 plus because there was some multipliers in there. Um, I was going to do 20 plus 24. Let's keep a record of how much we're saving, guys. <laughs> So here we have 20, 40, 60, 85, 95, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 107. Woo! And we finished our toasty challenge from Liz over at Liz and Less. This one I designated $2 per toast, so it saved uh, $40. I believe 25, 35, 40. Yes, $40. Uh, let's add that before I forget. <laughs> Which I did, I add the 107? Yes, I did. Okay. And then the last one was a $50 challenge. This one was from Girl Mama Budgets. It was a New Year's 2024. I don't know. I just had a lot of fun doing this one. <laughs> uh, 20, 40, and 50. So we have $241 to go towards our sinking funds. And that's a lot of money, you guys. Like, oh, this is really exciting. <laughs> so sinking fund binder. These are all of the sinking funds that we are working towards. We have um, our, this first section, our revolving ones. So this is money that comes in and out. Uh, we use it throughout the year. It's not like I'm saving for this one event, like a Mother's Day, Father's Day, etc. Um, recreation is just for us to go out and do some fun things. So let's add 20 bucks to that just because we want to keep adding money. So $20 is going into there. 
So now we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 1, 2, 3, 93. That means our tracker is correct, and we are happy. Uh, next up is Costco. I just love this one because it's mine, 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 mine. Like I go there and I just want everything. Um, we pretty much use this for meats and paper products. I'd say that's the primary thing that we buy there. Um, I did do a Costco run, spent $90. We are low on meats. So let's throw in, should do $40, $40 into Costco. So that puts us at $60. You guys are probably thinking that's like not enough money for Costco. It is not. <laughs> uh, board games. So this one, we play board games with our friends. I have $110 in there. If we host, then we pay for drinks and food. Let's just throw $10 in here. So I'm going to grab a 20 and put a 10 back. So we're just going to add $10. That gets us to $120. We need to figure out when we are going to do board game next. Uh, they came to visit us while we were traveling and stayed with us. So I think they next time we play board games, like we'll go to their house. So I don't have to um, pay money quite yet for us to host one. All right, let's just jump right into the randomizer because this is the fun part, honestly. <laughs> All right, so I have this randomizer card that I got from Ren over at Mischief Managed Budgets. These are the categories in which I am saving money for. So dealer's choice, that is just going to be, it's kind of like a miscellaneous bucket. So if I'm ever short on hitting a goal in one of these categories, I have money set aside that I can pull out of there. It has been a lifesaver knowing that I have that, and I think... It is such a good idea. It's like a buffer account for your sinking funds. Um, birthdays, taxes, tabs, Mother's Day, Father's Day, 4th of July, clothes, state fair, Halloween, home projects, and car maintenance. So taxes. I, guys, I told you guys that I need to have money in there for taxes. We have $209 saved up, but she told me it would be about $240 for us to get our taxes done. So let's put in $40. That'd be $249. Let's put $41 in. Just so it's at $250, it gives me a little bit extra just in case it bumps up to $250. So we are gonna add $41, so $250 total. And let's make sure that we have that. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. I'm going to take out the 5 and 5 ones and put in this 10. All right, so we officially have our goal that we need, $250, and this is for her to just do our taxes. It's not paying into taxes. That's different. This is just for the actual expense of the appointment. <laughs> All right. Um, now let's actually get into the fun. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I did that one first. I know I could have left it in front, but I just, I didn't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what I do is I have bought all of these different cards from Ren. Uh, the different themes line up with the different categories. So like Sesame Street, I have that for dealer's choice. And so I would draw a card, scratch it, and I'd save that amount of money um, and so on and so forth. So then say I got Monsters, Inc., that would go towards 4th of July. That's my Monsters, Inc. guy. <laughs> All these ones in the back are finished. I took cardstock and I cut them and just made it fit so that I could number them 1 through 12. And then each of the category cards match the number that they're assigned to. I just got this box at Michael's. Super cheap. Um... I think they're like a buck or two. They're not expensive at all. <laughs> not everyone has a Michaels near them, but um, if you do, or Joanne, like any craft store typically will sell these for a pretty reasonable price. Um, and then, of course, I have my new dice tower. 
which is going to make this go so much quicker. <laughs> I am going to use a D12 dice. This is going to line up with the 12 different categories. However, because a lot of these categories are due earlier in the year, so 4th of July, we're not quite worried about that yet. I do have a second dice to focus on the first six numbers. And so I'm going to do them both at the same time. That way I'm making sure that I'm prioritizing or giving it a little bit extra chance of hitting these earlier ones. I hope that makes sense. All right, let's go. So we got six and six. Ooh, Father's Day. We never do Father's Day. So honestly, this is really good. <laughs> and I wanted these little penguins. I don't know. My dad, like, he loves winter. So this is very fitting for him to be a penguin. Ooh. I didn't expect, a like, a thing in here. Okay, hold on. Skip or double? Well, obviously, we're going to double. So it's actually probably good that we got two cards. We're doubling the five. So we're going to put $10 in today for Father's Day. All right. So $10 is going into Father's Day. Father's Day is number six. I did get these. Um, all these dashboards are from Ren, and then she also sells these tabbed envelopes with the number tabs on them. Um, you can buy just the tabbed envelopes on Amazon if you want, but if you want them to have the little numbers, she has made it so that they perfectly fit, um, which is awesome. <laughs> all right, as you can see, I rearranged a little bit just so that it functionally works a little bit better for me. 11 and six. See, this is why I put a low number in here. <laughs> So 11 is home projects and six is Father's Day. We are getting a lot for Father's Day today. <laughs> Let's do the Father's Day first since we're already on it. Skip or double again. Okay, well, we got to draw another card. So we got eight, so we are going to double the eight. Ooh, five, 10, 15, and 16. Wowza. Let's do five, 10, 15, 20, and put in this 20. That way we just have little numbers left. Okay, so we got Father's Day done again, which honestly, I've already said this, is good. <laughs> Uh, 11 is home projects. So let's scratch off our Beauty and the Beast. 15. Okay, everything's going to be high numbers today. <laughs> so we got 5, 10, and 15. 5, 10, 15 is going into home projects, which that's fine because home projects, oh, so needed. 11 and 5. So we're going to stay on home projects because we got 11 and we also need a number 5, which is Mother... Oh, Woodpecker. <laughs> which is Mother's Day. So let's do home projects first. So home projects, we got a 7. So let's do 5, 6, and 7. And then this one is for Mother's Day. That is my birdie one. And it's the downy woodpecker. Ugh. I am still having lovely fun with woodpeckers. I have said it in previous videos. They are my arch nemesis. They just keep year after year breeding more and more. And I think they train them to come to my house and annoy me. <laughs> so we got $9 going to Mother's Day. So we got five, six, seven, eight, and nine dollars to Mother's Day. Oh, woodpeckers. <laughs> we got nine and one. So nine is state fair. So we will do you first, number nine. State fair is the Minnesota State Fair. I love to go every single year when I can. Um, I have missed some. 
two dollars <laughs> you don't get much money but it's okay and i want to save up about two hundred dollars that way i can buy a ticket eat all the food i want and just have a good time uh we did it last year and ended up not using all the money saved and it was just nice like i just i didn't have to worry i had money prepared and it was awesome number one is dealer's choice so this one i told you guys is my security blanket category <laughs> so here we go number one and three dollars oh and it's a cookie <laughs> i mean it should be it's cookie monster right all right so three dollars one two three is going into dealer's choice and let's roll again i'm kind of liking this double dice move here four and eleven so home projects and tabs yes tabs needs money and home projects and i'm wondering if i should just set it here because this will be easier <laughs> so tabs is our garfield category And you are getting $4, my friend. One, two, three, and four. And home projects, number 11. You are getting a 14. So let's go to 11. Let's put in 15 and take out a one. Five, 10, 15. Okay, so those two are done, and let's shake our dice again. Two and two, birthdays. <laughs> Why not? I mean, as much money as I can get for birthdays, the better. I have no problem with this. Two and two. Oh, Mickey and Minnie, perfect. My husband and I. So four plus double so skip or double so we're gonna do eight dollars so five we don't have any ones in there six seven and eight okay eight dollars in birthday uh four and three so taxes and tabs so taxes i could keep going just in case and tabs is number four Let's do taxes first, $9. And hey, if we start working towards next year, that's okay. I have no problem with that. Uh, $10 is going into taxes and tabs, 11. Can you guys see that? <laughs> $11, ah! So five, 10, I can do that one. Is there four ones in here? Yes, and 15. <laughs> so 11 plus four is 15, we are good to go. 10 and four, so tabs, we're gonna stay on that one. We'll do that one first. And we got a seven. So five, six, and seven are going into tabs, and 10 is Halloween. So let's grab a 10 card. Yes, Hocus Pocus. Oh, you guys, I love that movie. I keep staring at my little paper clippies that I got from <laughs> Budget with Carly. Okay. And we got a seven. So five, six, and seven. Okay, we have really low amounts left. So let's just do the one through six dice. And we got three, which is taxes. <laughs> Maybe I should have waited till the end, huh? To stuff that, but I don't care. I have no problem if it goes over. 
it just makes sure I have money. That's all that matters. And if it's not, then I start saving for next year because this is a yearly thing that I have to pay. Five and six dollars is going into taxes and I have one dollar left. So we are just going to throw the one dollar into tabs. Actually, let's throw it into tabs because that one is the one I need the most money in. All right, so we are done. Here are all the cards that we finished today, which is crazy. There's a skip and doubles in there, so that kind of helped with it too. But look at that. We got through that many cards. Anytime I finish with cards, I put them towards the back. Look how many we've done. Oh, it's just so cool. And I can reuse these. Um, I probably won't add the stickers back on. I'll probably just draw a card and save the money because it saves a little bit of time. Even though I love the mystery of a scratch off. <laughs> We will see. Uh, we can move the dice. And let's add up our money. So dealer's choice, we added $3. This one I don't have a tracker in because it's just bonus money. I don't need to know what the status is of it. So far we saved 20, 40, 65, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I have $74 and this can go towards any category that just needs some money. So I might have to pull from there for tabs, depending on how we do by May. <laughs> uh, birthdays, so we are adding 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58. So $158 is getting added for birthday. Ooh, this is looking pretty good. Plus 158. So we need a calculator. <laughs> 158 plus 703. We have $861 saved for our birthday. We really need to figure out what we want to do for our birthday. But in the meantime, I'm just going to keep saving money. And I'm going to have to put a placeholder in here. All right, so birthdays, I have 200 400, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 800, and 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 861 dollars saved for our birthday. That's actually pretty cool. All right, now we have taxes. So we're adding five, 10, 15, and $16. And again, we already maxed this out, but when they did it, it was an estimate and $266. And if I start saving towards next year, I honestly have no problem with that because every single year taxes are gonna come up. Tabs, oh, tabs. So this is car registration, um, whatever you guys call it, the little sticker on the license plate or your window. We have to do it once a year. It's based off of our car value and my husband's truck is a little bit more expensive and so his tabs are $400. We're just trying to get closer. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 1, 2, 3. So we're going to add $23 today. And we had 141 plus 23, so 164. So we're not quite halfway, but we're getting there. We are getting closer and closer every time we do this. <laughs> And these are due in May, so I have a little bit of time. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 45, 55, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 164. That all adds up. We are good. Uh, Mother's Day. So we're adding 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 dollars to Mother's Day. I have three moms that I pay for. My budget is to get to $150. Uh, we currently have 88 and I'm adding nine. So that would be nine, 
<laughs> oh, I'm testing myself today. All right, so 20, 40, 60, 85, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yep, 97. So we are almost done. We have almost two moms done and one to go. I try to do about 50 bucks per parent. Father's Day, you actually got money today. So there it's getting $26, which is huge. Father's Day has been the most neglected stepchild. <laughs> Um, 26 and the current balance was 28. See, I only had $28 saved. Oh, that was crazy. Uh, 28 plus 26, 54. My brain didn't have the capacity for that one today. All right. So 20, 40, 5, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 54. We have one dad covered. I have three dads that I buy for as well, which is my dad my stepdad, and my father-in-law. Fourth of July, you get nothing. Clothes, you get nothing. Uh, state fair, you get $2. I know. Crazy town. <laughs> so plus two, it'll be at 69. 20, 40, 65, 6, 7, 8, 9. $69 saved for the state fair. And for us, that is at the end of August. Uh, Halloween, you get seven. This is to pay for Halloween candy. And then if we want to buy any decorations. So plus seven, that puts us at $52. 20, 45, 51, two. And now we are getting to home improvement. This one got a little bit of money today. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, $36. That's a pretty good amount for a randomizer. <laughs> so plus 36. So 44 plus 36, $80 total. Cool. We have a lot of, now that like summer's coming up, we have a lot of just random house projects that we want to do, and this will go a long way. So 20, 45, 55, 65, 75, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80. 80 dollars. And that is all for my sinking funds using the randomizer way. As you can tell, this is getting a little bit beefy, especially birthday. So I think I'm going to have to pull that money out, put it in the bank, and put a placeholder in. Oh, I forgot to put my little board in. I like to keep that in the front. All right. Now let's go over my spending recap for the week. <laughs> All right. Here is our spending recap for March week two. Uh, we bought pizza on the 10th. That was $55. We tried a new pizza place. And... I'd say it's decent, but it was kind of overpriced for what you got. Uh, haircut, that is personal care, so that's $64. I feel like this keeps creeping up. Um, anytime you find like a hair stylist, and you always get that introductory rate, and then as they get more and more advanced, they always raise their price, and it's just so fun. So fun. Um, bar, so we decided we want to go out for um, dinner, and we had a couple drinks there. We didn't really have a lot of drinks there. It was mostly food. And it was just a rough day. It was one of those where it's like, do you want to cook? No, I had a terrible day. Do you want to cook? No, let's just go. <laughs> it was one of those days. Uh, so that was $50. Um, on the 14th, we did a firehouse subs. That was $32. Well, oh, this is that food day. <laughs> we had a rough week in general and food was just a little bit out of control. Uh, Red Robin, that was $18. So Firehouse Subs, that was us getting dinner because we didn't want to cook dinner. Um, lunch, I got Red Robin for myself. That was 18 And my husband got McDonald's. That was 11 uh, On the 15th, we went to Cheers. And that's always fun money. 
<laughs> I got to have a Lucky Charm Rice Krispie bar because the bartender made treats, and that was fun. Uh, $69. Also went to Hy-Vee, got some groceries because that was part of the issue too is we just didn't have groceries, and I didn't have the energy to make a grocery list, and then that derails the grocery shopping. It just becomes a whole thing. <laughs> I'm sure you guys can relate. <laughs> uh, $213. Uh, my husband has a organization that he likes to donate to every single month, so $25 goes to that. Last pass, so this su subscription renews once a year. Totally forgot about it. Came through $52. I was like, Ugh. now I'm going to put it in my book, so now that I know when it comes through. Uh, we just we use Last Pass to um, generate and store passwords for us. It's just another service versus having it like written down on paper. It's an electronic way to do it. Um, Amazon subscription. My husband uses Amazon Music, so that was twelve dollars. Oh yeah, this is Saturday. <laughs> I was yes. So kebabs. My I went to my uh St. Patty's Day parade. My dad was pulling a float in there, so my husband stayed back because he had some work he had to get done. Um, he ran out and got some lunch, bought some kebabs. Uh, BritBox came through. That's a subscription. That was ten dollars. I picked up noodles for him on the way home. I had food at my dad's house, so I didn't have any food for me. And then I had a pork chop at the um, parade festival, but my sister paid for that. So <laughs> she was very sweet. I didn't have cash on me, and that's all I took. Um, noodles, he $16. A steam, so there's a steam spring sale. There's always a sale, I feel like. Um, but there's a few games that he wanted. He loves to do computer games, so that was $46. It's under fun because that is fun money. Um, electricity came out that was $86 and that's all we had um, I was pretty impressed with our utility bills this month because we were traveling in a way our utility bills were like so much lower than normal like this normally would be 150 plus so I was happy to have it at 86 uh, totals food we spent 411 Ugh, more than we should have but it was just one of those weeks. <laughs> fun money. Oh, I forgot to highlight fun. Uh, that was $115. Personal care, $69. Subscription, $74. Giving, $25. Utilities, $86. So for the week, we spent $780, which I feel like we've gotten our spending much more in, in a better shape. Um, I'm a little bit nervous for our tax appointment, and we got a little spending on our trip towards the end. So we've been like really holding back and trying to um, just get back to our normal. So <laughs> we've been trying to do good food. Yeah, that just kind of happened this week. But overall, still not bad. Still not bad. And that's all I got for today. I do have a bunch of happy mail. So I might throw in a bonus happy mail video this week. I haven't decided yet, but I'm going to record it. I just don't know a day. I'm just going to throw it in as a random Happy Meal video. So stay tuned. Otherwise, I will see you on Wednesday where I do my part two of my long-term sinking funds. Okay, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.